back and my special guest today is Amari Reynolds. Amari is a uh, actor, writer, director, musician, jack of all trades. Amari, how you doing today? I'm I'm great, man. How are you doing, man? Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. I'm doing good, man. I'm just uh, you know, out here living and and knocking these podcasts out. So again, I appreciate you being on. I see you, man. Like when I first came across uh your podcast, I seen a positive gains. So I was like, man, this got to be incredible. I got to check him out, man. See what he's about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Appreciate it. So right. you originally hail from Detroit. Is that right? Yeah, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Okay. So, and you, you've made your way out to uh, bright, sunny LA. Yeah. Palm trees as it goes. Yes, sir. So, so what was, uh, what was the process for you getting out of Detroit and, and moving clear across the country? Uh, that wasn't an easy journey. Um, and, I wish I could say Detroit going going from Detroit to LA was an easy thing, but uh, I kind of bounced all over the place, like Atlanta, Columbia, uh, just different parts of the uh, country. But um, I started off in Detroit. Uh, most of my life spent there, all the way up to uh, my early twenties. Um, then I took off to LA. <laughs> enjoyed the the sunny trees the, the the network and the lifestyle down here uh then ended up moving back out of LA and then, then I ended up um it was a lot it was a lot but overall I'm here in LA and I'm really blessed right now man I, I can't say less man. so you know you've you've got all this going on for you like we talked about right now, I mentioned the the acting and, you know, the directing, the, the music. Are you trying to obviously create your own lane, your own path? Or is there something that you that you're gravitated more towards? Is there something that you do that you like a little bit more? Um, I'm trying to go in my own lane. Um, I feel like I have my own purpose. I can't speak for the person next to me. I can't speak for anybody else but I can most certainly speak for myself and what I feel like I, I am capable of doing. I feel like uh, I have a vision. I feel like, uh, you know, there's ones out there that told me that, you know, they're inspired by, you know, some of the work that I've done. And uh, I don't, I don't want to let them mm -hmm. down as well as I don't want to let myself down. So, so this is why okay. I keep working. And so you, you've got all these credits under your name already, you know, at being a young age, um, what was it well over 30? Yeah. You know, so um, how, how did you get into to acting? It originally started in Detroit. Uh, I was doing some theater work uh, for a church play. Um, okay. Became Jesus. I was uh, amazed by the, the crowd. Everybody cheered the whole casting crew, uh, the whole play, and at that moment, I was like, yeah, I want to be an actor. So uh, it was no easy journey because I had to figure out what I, what steps I needed to take to become an actor. And I took acting classes in the local area. Um, it was a few cities. And over time, I started networking with people that was in class. And I had the opportunity to be on set uh, as an extra in the beginning. And then over time, uh, people start noticing me uh, with me, like posting some of my work and stuff. And it wasn't at that moment, it wasn't about like just getting paid or anything. It was just the excitement behind it. It was just like, you know, I'm on set, you know, camera <laughs> rolling, people moving, people, let's, let's keep it moving. All right, you got your pizza? Okay, let's get back on set. You know, it was, it was like that. So um, the adrenaline was kicking in, man. So that's how I took off from there. Yeah. And did that lead into into music and and other ventures or, or were you already? Uh, no, on? the 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 music and YouTube and all that stuff that that came like last minute, like around like pandemic. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay. Acting really was just the main thing on my mind, to be honest. Acting is what I, I live for, man. So, yeah. So you, you said networking. Um, 
is it, you know, when people first get into the business, I know a lot of people want to be like a sponge and they want to absorb and learn as much as they can. And then it seems like sometimes when people make it, not everyone, but a lot of people will obviously do their own thing and they're not as uh, willing to share knowledge and, and, and information. So like you said, networking right now, how important do you think that is, especially just starting out? It's very, it's very, is very essential. But I will say it is not easy for that one too, because I can agree with what you're saying. Um, it can get a little challenging when, you know, you have ones that don't want to spill uh, precious jewels, and diamonds and treasure. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's more of a, you know, I'm, I'm afraid that I might lose it all. You know, I don't know, but uh, I just try to take what I can and learn from, you know, whoever try to give me knowledge, you know, so it's always about networking because how else you going to grow, you know? And so the, uh, the YouTube channel, um, YouTube's obviously been popular. A lot of people have been, you know, creating their own lane. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've seen yours or, uh, logs and, and a lot of pranks, um, you know, lighthearted stuff. So what do you, what are you hoping to accomplish off there? Are you hoping to, to brand the two together, whether you, you know, start off big on YouTube or, or make it on, on another film, you know, are you, are you hoping one comes before the other or do you, do you uh, not care? Um, I care about all the things that I do. I care about every single last bit because uh, uh, they are all a collection of a memory, you know, of my life. But um, honestly, whatever blows is whatever blows. But most importantly, I just I just do what that, that entertains my uh, supporters. So, yeah. but I would love for all of them to eventually, you know, go up viral, and I believe they will. And I'm saying it right here on your show. There you go. When Speaking people in play back, like Mari said that on his show, not <laughs> on the Positive Gains show. What? Yeah, yeah, you, you got to believe it. Um, and the the creativity part of it, you know, YouTube is a uh, obviously, you know, it's evolving and the algorithm and, and everybody's trying to see, you know, figure out their angle on it. So how hard has it been for you to be creative and to draw people in? It is very hard. Uh, it's funny you said algorithms and things like that. It's just like everybody know the algorithm is constantly changing almost like yeah. monthly and it's hard it's sometimes it, you would think your friend is not purposely liking your photos but it's like yeah, instagram is just separating everything you know what i'm saying sorry yeah <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but um i feel like the only way you can really get your stuff out there is just constantly keep promoting whether it's free or paid you know what i mean so yeah, and, and, and uh, I, I've noticed, too, because before all this, I figured, well, man, it can't be that hard. You put out something and then, you know, people hit subscribe. And then I started to remember, remember all those times you watched something and you didn't hit uh, subscribe. You just kind of skimmed over it. And yeah, and now now I'm reaping that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, the creativity is, is definitely um, tough. But moving on to. Uh, as far as like advice, so you, you know, you've kind of went through the trenches. So what would, what would you tell somebody that, uh, you know, is inspired by you? Cause you get that, you know, people telling you that and they want to follow a, a similar path. Now, growing up in the trenches was really, really, really tough, man. I grew up uh, on the east side of Detroit. Whew. Boy, it's tough. I mean, um, <laughs> You know, I was one of those nerdy ones in school, but I, I seen a lot and I, I've been through a lot. And, you know, I was one of those kids in school where, um, you know, teachers were fond of me because I was uh, so creative. And I didn't understand why I was creative at this point. I was just drawing and things like that or, you know, doing something productive. But, you know, uh, it was very fun and they always felt like I would make it far. Um, a lot of people didn't really like that back then so um these is one of my ones that's in school and you know they deal with tough situations uh that you know they 
they have to deal with being there. But, you know, you just stick to your, your goals, stick to your pride. Don't let nobody push you off and tell you what you can and cannot do. Only you can do it, man. So, and look where I am today. Come on. Yeah. Look where I am today. <laughs> yeah. You know, and at Even times too, I watching me. <laughs> Let's go. You know, and at times too, I think that people, uh, a lot of people want to, they want the success, but they're not willing to um, put in the work, put in the work and, and, and they want to go from A to Z. And then I think, you know, again, with the viralness, people just want that, that overnight success. And I know growing up, a lot of people said, well, uh, if you were to say like, hey, you wanted to be an actor, people would kind of look at you like, okay, you you really think you would, you know, you really think you're going to do that? That's for people in Hollywood. That's for the people in New York City. So yeah, it's, it's a constant trying to change people's uh, perceptions. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very difficult, man. Um, so what's been the, the, the best thing so far, like your favorite part of, uh, of acting, you know, project or something that you've been a part of, what have you, what's been your favorite so far? Um, you talking about like overall throughout my credits? Yes. Overall. I've been, if you have one. I've, I've been doing, I've been doing a little bit more interviews. So I've been throwing out a little bit too many favorites. So uh -oh. all of them, all of them going to get a favor eventually, but, um, I want to say uh, one of the movies that I love. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Key Lord, and the reason why I'm going with Key Lord is because that was the first film that I ever became the lead, and I was very terrified. People thought I was calm and collected, but every time when they said in action, I was super nervous, man. What for? I don't know, but that's a. Uh, it was a. It's a, a real cool experience because everybody embraced me. Everybody was very professional. Everybody worked hard. Uh, we ate good. Uh, we took pictures. We laughed a lot, and then uh, we had a screening. Uh, my family was there. Uh, a lot of people that uh, invested their money into the the project was there. It was a great experience, man. So uh, that one right there, um, it. It made me feel like that, you know, obviously that, you know, I could be Hollywood one day, you know. So uh, it was a little booster for me as that being my first lead for this film, Key Lord. If y'all ain't see Key Lord, y'all can check it out on YouTube. Okay. And, and when, you know, when you hear your name, what do you want people to think of you as? Um, you know, when, when they see your name pop up on the screen, you know, every, everybody's got that oh, I know him from this, or this is what he, he he brings out, or this is what I know him from. But I even as a person, what do you want people to think of you as when they hear your name or see it? Actor, musician, YouTuber, because I vlog, and um, model. And um, I want to be an author one day. You, you, what do you think? Yeah. You th I'm in the same boat, man. I've, I've been trying to you know push a little book out but i keep i keep uh you know but you could do it i think you can too man oh I yeah think you can let's get a yeah. book out man <laughs> most definitely i will definitely have one out um okay so um so let's say i don't want to do the five year i know a lot of people say five years where do you see yourself 10 years i just say you know the next year you know, what do you see yourself doing? The same thing, bigger things, constantly elevating. I see myself doing bigger things. I see myself okay. doing bigger things. I, um, I haven't announced this on your your show, your show, but I drove across the country um, from South Carolina to California to be here, and wow. I don't, I don't, I don't want to settle for short. Uh, I'm, I'm on a mission. I have, I have a passion of mine that I, I strongly desire to explode to show the world and um only takes you know patience hard work and uh, motivation you know to grind up so do you need a big uh support from from family not everyone's gonna have uh people in their corner but obviously it helps is that something that you had growing up you know 
somebody in your family telling you you can do it even when you had doubts yourself? Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, my mother and my brothers. Um, you know, yeah, I have a few people that's in my corner that, you know, uh, make sure that I'm on the mission, you know, which is uh, following my dreams and doing what I need to do to get there. So, yeah. Okay. And uh, social media wise, where can everybody find you? Where are you at? So I put everything in one link uh, just to make that bundle. So they can find me on linktree.com slash Martin Reynolds. Um, that's all my social media, my press, all of that. Uh, but my music, y'all can find me on linktree.com slash Martin Reynolds music, which by the way, I just dropped the new music video. Uh, do what I want. Make sure y'all go check that out. Go stream my music, run it up. Um, and also, I will be dro- uh, I will be um, announcing the release date of a few movies that I am featured in as well. So, okay, yeah. So again, everybody, I'm gonna put that in the uh, drop down box below. So make sure you guys check all that out. Follow, yes. subscribe. It don't take but two seconds to hit the button. Right. It don't take nothing but two seconds. You better be quick, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Mario, I appreciate you. I appreciate you being on, taking the time out of your busy day. Yeah. Um, uh, wish the best for you going forward. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for having me on the show, man. It's been, a, it's been an honor, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you again. All right. You take care. You too.